Well, hey everyone, in light of what has been recently going on in our world, culturally, politically, uh, racially, all this sort of stuff, and especially political at the time that I'm filming right now, there's been a lot of troubling things that we've been seeing on the news. And it often leaves us wondering, okay, how do I respond? What's a proper way to, to, to address these kinds of things that we see going on in our culture? Most common, people will run to social media and take this high moral seat where we just call out evils and say, hey, that's evil, and then we move on with our lives, having fulfilled our civic duty or whatever. I don't have any problems with speaking out. In fact, I would say this is one of the important steps, but it is one of the important steps. There are other things that as Christians we are called to, things that are distinctly Christian even. First, I would say not just to speak out, but to speak up, to speak to our Lord and God, to pray that he would heal this land, that he would bring wholeness and restoration in the hurting, that he would restore people, that he would bring people to himself, and that he would take all things and work them out for good. We speak up. But more than that, we also speak in. See, it's easy to see all the evil in other people, in the way that it's been reacted, and we may never react in riots or whatever, but it is still important to look inside and say, hey, is there anger here? Is there racism here? Is there bitterness here? Are there things that the Lord is revealing to me about my own heart that I need to present to him and to seek healing there. Third is to speak toward, to speak toward, to look to others and to think, hey, in light of various racism things going on, gender issues going on, uh, what kind of groups of people are affected and hurt? How do we speak towards these people in love and kindness? How do we bring healing? What kind of hands of love is God calling us to have in light of all this? So we speak up, we speak in, we speak toward, and also, of course, speak out. I believe after these three other things, it is time to speak out and to call out the garbage in our culture, to have a prophetic voice against the evils that we see, and to show the world that Christianity is not connected to ideologies or various evils in our world, but it's connected to Christ and his salvation message that he offers all of us, that he is good news, and to show that God is for the people of this world. So I hope that was helpful for you as we think through the different things taking place in our culture and how to respond to that in a way that is distinctly Christian. Guys, thanks for watching.